Hi, I'm Rob Cram, and today we're taking a look at the Steam VR Performance Test, which is basically a free tool which enables you to check your system performance and whether you'll be able to run VR. So I'm going to have to just start that again. Um, it's obviously not liking me running the MSI afterburner at the same time, so you can see the um, frames per second. So let's just roll that out again. Okay, let's stick that in there. It's really not liking me do it. There you go. We've got that in, so we'll zoom in as well, just so you can see that bit better what's going on. Okay, so about the test. It's um, testing your CPU performance and your GPU with the idea that you need to get above 90 frames per second minimum to run VR perfectly. Obviously, anything above that is um, a bonus, but that's the kind of minimum spec that you'll need for a flawless kind of VR experience to avoid motion sickness and jerkiness when you're viewing these two rendered scenes being simultaneously played, um, which will be your view in VR. And this is the challenge for VR is that, you know, the why it takes up so much of your system resource is because it's having to render those two scenes at the same time rather than um, a single scene. So basically the test will show your GPU performance and your CPU performance and you'll be color coded based on whether your system is capable or not capable or able to run VR with no issues. And as you can see here, we're sort of averaging over 120 frames per second during these two scenes, which is um, pretty good. So the test only takes a couple of minutes. And then once you're done, you'll get your evaluation sheet, which tells you whether you're good to go or not. If you look at the um, top left of the screen, it's showing my GPU is running at 99%. Fan speed at 52%, um, and obviously the temperature that's immaterial, that doesn't really matter. But um, so it's, this test is really pushing the performance, and then we got the uh, evaluation. So let's explain what that means. So, red obviously, if any of these three system spec were colored in red, that means my they would need to be upgraded, and my PC is not ready. Same goes for if they were in yellow, but yellow means that you should be able to run VR but you won't be getting the most optimal performance. Green, and that means you're totally ready to go VR and that you've got no issues and you should be um, good to go. So as you can see there, Windows 10 is fine. The GTX 980 Ti is fine and the i5-3570K is absolutely fine. And then we can go to a more detailed breakdown. And the fidelity, you want that at 11 is maximum. So a 10.8 is um, pretty good. Now I did get a 10.9 earlier, um, and I've got a 10.6 on other tests. So it kind of fluctuates, but um, I think, you know, 10.8 out of 11 is not bad. So if you're in that ballpark, you've got nothing to worry about. So I think that gives you a good idea. The test is available on Steam. Download it and run your system and see if you are VR capable. And um, and then you know that you're good to go with the HTC Vive or the Oculus Rift. Okay, I'm Rob Cram. Thanks for watching.